In the 143rd running of the Kentucky Derby, there were no women in the starting gate. Now, this isn't particularly abnormal. In fact, only six female jockeys have ever competed in the run for the Roses. But tonight in the vault, we remember the very first. May 2nd, 1970. It was the 96th run for the Roses and the day a woman shattered the Kentucky Derby's glass ceiling. When you come out through the tunnel and they play my old Kentucky home, I don't care who you are, you have, you have to be dead not to, not to get a lump in your throat. By the time jockey Diane Crump got to the Derby in 1970, she was already a trailblazer, becoming the first woman to compete in a perimutual horse race just one year earlier at Hialeah. A feat met with catcalls and jeers from the crowd. There was a lot of negative press about it, but all I wanted to do was ride. A lot of it was heckling like, you know, go back to the kitchen, you need to go home and cook dinner and all that kind of thing. It seems odd in this day and age. One year later, in Louisville, Kentucky, the first woman to ride in the professional horse race also became the first female jockey to compete in the Kentucky Derby, riding on a horse named Fathom, a long shot in the run for the Roses. The hardest thing was knowing that he was a long shot. He probably didn't want to run that distance. You know, he was more of a sprinter, that horse. But just to be a part of it and just to hope that there's some chance that he could that he could get in the mix, which he actually he ran decently in the mix of it for a mile and eight till he got tired. Crum placed 15th that day in a 17 horse field with then Governor Louis B. Nunn and Lieutenant Governor Wendell Ford watching from the stands. It was a historic day for the Kentucky Derby and for female jockeys who, like Crump, just wanted to ride. Now they had a place in the race every jockey dreamed of. Because there's nothing else that feels like Louisville the, the week before the Derby. Now everybody is so into it and it's like how every horse is doing and you're just such a part of it that it gives you the most awesome feeling. And so to be a part of that was what I think every rider dreams of. It's been nearly 50 years since Crump broke down the Derby's gender barriers. And since that historic ride, only five other women have followed in her footsteps. Nowadays, Crump says women in horse racing are treated more like equals, but there is still work to be done. If a girl can ride, they have a good chance to get mounts. I'm not saying it's equal, but it's certainly a thousand times better than it was when I started. So I'd say we're making progress. It's maybe not quite what I would have hoped for, but it's certainly come a long way. Diane Crump retired from horse racing in 1999. She now runs an equine sales business in Virginia. When I asked her why she continues to be so passionate about horses, she said it's an indescribable bond. They give you their life and their heart, which is an incredible gift.